Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. All right, everybody, welcome back to a, another episode of Tech Talk. It is the first day of December 2020. Andy, we are almost done with this year, my friend. On the home stretch. Let's do On it. On the home stretch. So, speaking of the home stretch, we are going to be hitting on a little synthetic class four today. I'm going to leave class three alone and hit on the non-fat and butter pretty hard today. Sure are. I mean, it's, it's certainly after what feels like a, a while where we just weren't doing a whole lot or really class three was just, you know, front and center. This is weekly spot non-fat. So we're going to touch on all the, the spot products here for, for uh, spot non-fat and butter. And then we'll look at some class four charts. But I want to start with this one. Um, again, this is weekly spot non-fat. And, you know, it, it, it's kind of reminiscent of if I can just kind of zoom in here. So this is this move that we're seeing here is somewhat reminiscent of this move that we saw here, right? Where it's just a nice continuation of the uptrend. And it wasn't just like a straight shot higher. You know, you had some consolidation, you had some building of a base, but then after today, so this is a weekly, this is today's close. Obviously we have, you know, the rest of the week still, it's still early, but mm -hmm. we technically closed over, you know, all this here, not only here, right? But also over here too. Yeah. So uh, I know it's not the biggest gap, but I mean, you have a gap here now that's that's very fillable between 114, what is this, 114 and call it 116, 117. So there's certainly plenty of room here still for, I shouldn't say plenty of room, but there's still room here for the start to keep going higher. And I think it does. Um, and what I like about it is that again, it's been, it's been building a nice base and just kind of chugging along here. It hasn't just gone straight up kind of like here. Earlier in the year, this is unsustainable price action. Whereas we've seen just this nice continued trend higher. Would you think that this could be the first part of possibly an Elliott wave forming? You know, that's a good that's a good question. I think so. You know, I think it depends on where you have it starting and, and where the new what kind of formation would begin. Um, to me, what sticks out again the most, and we still need a couple more days in the week, but closing over all of this. I mean, this would be, you know, you're starting to encroach on, you know, uh, not almost at, you know, record, not record highs, but yearly highs. Um, but you're starting to encroach on this territory now, right? Mm -hmm. Which, again, with the price section, we just haven't seen it some time. So I, I look at this and I say that, you know, I think class four has got plenty of room to go to the upside. And I think nonfat is going to be a, a, a pretty good driver here. But, you know, the other side of that. Yeah, it's been it's been butter, right? And, and butter we've had on here the past couple of times. I think you still have the the lines drawn. Yeah, of you know, to be completely honest, butter is not good right now. I mean, just to be blunt well, about that's it. That's a good point. I mean, like it's just been sort of kind of ho hum here, right? And you know, the line you're talking about is this, this one. It's been a longer term mm -hmm. downtrend. It started back in August of last year, um, but I drew this one to start because. It, you know, butter ever since it tried to take a run at two bucks earlier this year has just steadily grinded lower, and it's and it's been in a nice steady downtrend for the last sixty cents. But today, and this is a weekly. Today, you know, if we can if we can get a close here or higher, you will have closed through this downtrend for the first time since it really began. Right? This is this is a pretty good test. So, if we can continue to move through this. And then I think the next stop is testing this area, which would be call it between 160 and 180, depending on where it tests it, right? So let's call it just, you know, easy math, 170. You know, 170, when you look at some of the, when, the, when you look at the futures market out forward, you know, you've got like April at 172, May at 174. So the, the, the futures market is certainly telling us that into the future, it, you know, out forward, um, we're, we'll be, we will be breaking through this downtrend. We will have broken through this downtrend really and be trading back up into here. So I think it does it sooner rather than later. Um, I think this this break, this breakthrough, breakout really here is the first step. Um, and I think it's going to look really good when we completely fail to put in a lower low here, right? I mean, you go back, this is during the pandemic and or the height of it, right? Butter it looks like the low is about 109. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we weren't there for very long, but I think we're going to completely... You know, we're going to be 30 cents off that price. I think we're just going to continue moving higher. So it's going to look. So what you're so what you're seeing is what I if we get a higher low here and continue to you know break through this downtrend, I drew this you know kind of almost W, right? I mean, it's 
not quite what we normally see. But what I wanted to point out is, you know, if we can break through this downtrend and, can, and then again, reject this low pretty, pretty handily too, I think you can take this measurement and take it back up. I mean, this, uh, this, I think you could get an equal type run that we saw here, right. In terms of price action. So that takes us over two bucks. Obviously there's a lot that needs to happen between now and you know, what, what, what could be, you know, this kind of a run, but we've been, you know, pretty low for some time and we're starting to see some inventory getting cleared out. We're starting to, you know, I think fundamentals are starting to take shape to be able to have a, have a good run here in butter. And I think the first step is going to be breaking through this downtrend and then going and testing this one, this longer term one. We break through this one, and then I think you got to be very mindful of how much price action was seen from this low to this high, right? And, and kind of and add that in over here. So yeah. that'd be my take. Um, we're already seeing, though, futures starting to make a little bit of a move here. Yeah. Well, so speaking this, of W's, I mean, you you kind of mentioned this earlier, but talk about the, you know, the, the quarter one class four making a yeah. pretty darn good W right there, right in front of us. Sure. And I think what you're referring to, let's just kind of zoom in here a little bit, but um, so it's a little bit of a choppier chart just because it's been relatively inactive in terms of days ranges, right? These, each one of these dashes means that it was pretty much settled unchanged or, you know, there was very little trade. And we've seen not, not too much activity in class four as of late because we've seen just kind of a stagnant cash market. But this, this is day to day. I mean, this is obviously we had a pretty strong GDT today, but I mean, look at this gap that we made today. Big move, huh? And it's, you know, call it 40, 45 cents, which, you know, 40, 45 cents, we were seeing bigger moves than that day to day in class three. But when you look at it with respect to how much price action we've seen as of late, this is, a, you know, relatively speaking, this is a big move for this for this contract. So what sticks out to me is exactly what you said, right? You had you took a stab at, at, at getting through this low. Right. And pretty handily rejected it. So we were able to get one, two, three, four days through that price. And then today, you know, we rallied pretty good. But also, too, we're doing it on volume. We have, you know, we're actually starting to see some volume change hands, not only in the futures market, but in the options as well. So let me ask you this. I mean, to be a, to be a completed W, would we have to go back and refill that whole 40 to 45 cent gap and then continue higher? Or would you call it a, you know, maybe continuous gap and go type W and I, not have to come back and refill that? I don't that's, that's a good question. I don't necessarily think we need to go fill this gap and then, you know, return higher, so to speak. Right? I think... You know, I think what would be even more bullish for this chart is, you know, maybe we see kind of like, a, you know, we, we kind of hang around this 14 half area for a little bit. And that the best that, you know, the, the, the opposing force, the bears can do here is, is consolidate. Right. So you had this big move in price and sellers respond by doing nothing. And, you know, you get the, the cash markets that we just looked at continue to move higher that we, you know, we're, we're kind of aiming for here. And then that, that, that causes us to break out through this, right? So I don't necessarily think you need to go fill this gap to move higher. I think what would be the most bullish thing for this chart, I, I, I think some consolidation after making this run here and seeing the sell side have little to no response in attempting to fill this gap and then breaking through here, call it like over the course of like two to three days or something like that. So if we get today's Tuesday, so let's say by like Friday, we're just kind of still putting around 14 and a half. And then, you know, we get a strong close on the weekly for both the spot butter and uh, non-fat charts. All they really have to do is actually just maintain today's prices, close on their highs for the week. And then you, you know, you get another move higher in this chart. It's not that much. I mean, breaking through here to this, this downtrend that's been holding since July or actually really late June, that's another 20 cents. Oh, what is that, that 14, 1470 around? Yeah, I mean, it's it's just, it's not that much. So I think it's poised to do it. And I think this, you know, this uh, right here, um, I don't necessarily think this is a gap that needs to go get filled. Okay. So um, last but not least, becoming quickly becoming your personal favorite. I know this is one that we talked about last time with our... Uh... Our, our Jan soybean meal chart that we had talked about the, you know, support lines that you have drawn there. Yesterday was the first time that we actually settled below the, not not just traded, but actually settled below 
uh, the support line there. And today, obviously, it could make another run. I think we sell Jan, well, you know, 30, 390 right there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, a little bit of fundamental. If, if it is actually getting rain in South America, you know, we could be looking to bounce a little bit lower here. Well, let's, and, you know, you, you, you touched on it too, where we've had this pretty strong uptrend here for a while, right? And you can make the argument that there was five waves that have been completed. One, two, three, four, five, right? Typically the, the third is the longest with the fifth kind of petering out, right? And what but sticks out to me is, you know, we, we took how many stabs at trying to get through 400? Well, exactly. Two, and I think three, soybeans have bounced their head. Right. Kind of the same thing. Beans have bounced their head off, you know, 12 bucks, the same amount of times. And you and I talked about it, I think, last time. Every day you trade in this range where you're going to be right or wrong, depending on which side of the market that you're on. And now we finally just settled below. And there's quite a bit of consolidation that's actually happening right at that 390 right. mark. Right. And I think consolidation for this chart can be a bit of a killer, right? Because you've consolidating means you're failing to maintain the uptrend and you've already had a significant amount of price action and, you know, multiple waves that you've been in, managed to complete. You found a price where the, the market is willing to offer a lot of resistance called around 400. And now, you know, I think what this chart is in jeopardy of doing is, you know, going and testing this older longer term trend, but also too, I mean, a, a, a retracement of this move. I mean, you take it back down to 363 and you're, you're retracing call it, what is it? 30% of the move. It's not a ton, but, it's a pretty big move. You're talking about, you know, 30, 40 points. So I think that's entirely possible with this chart. I mean, you, you mentioned that this, there's some fundamental stacking up a little bit too that can help, you know, accelerate that. But I think a, consol- a continued consolidation for this chart is could be a killer for this uptrend. Yeah. It's almost like we need to get that settle above 400 here real soon if, yeah. if it's going to continue on its way higher. Yep. Yep. I'd agree. Cool. Well, Awesome. Well, with that, everybody, that's going to do it for Andy and I on another episode of Tech Talk. If you would be so kind, hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. You'll get a notification anytime that anyone in Ever Ag does a video and it is published. And until next time, enjoy uh, Basis Loaded with Joe tomorrow, and we'll see you next week. See you guys.